Hi, welcome to How to RPG. My name is Fred Wheeler, and today I want to talk about role playing games. So, how do you go about designing your own giant crystal cave for your adventures? I have some advice for you. These things do, in fact, exist in real life. So, we can take a lot of the information that is available about the real formation of a crystal cave and we can port that over into our role playing game into our adventures and build it out from there and of course you can change anything after that. So giant transparent and white crystals are formed over thousands of years. The crystals are formed through the formation or the interaction of water and sulfite ions. So that combination over a very long period of time creates crystals. Crystals can be protruding from any direction and all angles. Uh, the largest crystal could be as large as 3 meters in diameter and 12 meters long. And in fact, the longer you leave them, the larger they can grow, provided they have a space they can grow in. The depth of a crystal cave will be extremely deep and close to magma activity because you need to get that sulfite iron going. If you don't have magma activity, it's a bit hard to make that work. The temperature in a crystal cave will be extremely hot, uh, somewhere in the vicinity of uh, 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, humidity in a crystal cave will be very high, probably close to 90%, and a crystal cave will contain water, uh, possibly be completely submerged. It is possible for a crystal cave to actually wind up losing all its water, but it needs water to actually grow and form the crystals, so there's usually going to be some sort of water content, even if it's lying uh, at the very lowest level of your crystal cave. Uh, the crystal cave will usually have a huge central chamber, but it could have smaller caverns linked to it. Now why do I say this? Because you need a big space to allow a large crystal to grow. The environment of a crystal cave will be crisscrossed, crystal pathways and different sort of at different angles, but also at different vertical heights. It's kind of like a, a catwalk environment. Surviving inside a crystal cave requires special magic and equipment to contend with the heat and the lack of oxygen, because there really won't be a lot of oxygen down there, if any at all, and the heat will be so extreme it will kill most things. It's not practical for normal creatures, beasts and animals to live in a crystal cave. Uh, you will need to create your own dragons, fish, eels or aquatic creatures or even any kind of beast that will actually live in a crystal cave environment because it is so hostile to living forms. Now that's everything I have for you on uh, crystal caves and how to go about designing them. I know that sounds super simple but there's not a lot to it. Really play with it make whatever adjustments you need to and have a good time with it. So I want to thank all of my patrons who support me so I can keep running this, uh, this program. I want to thank you for watching and listening and hey till next time keep rolling those 20s.